Hello friends, this is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about the shapes in 3ds Max. Actually, this, uh, as we talked uh, in the previous lesson, this is the uh, a modeling uh, modeling type I want to talk about and uh, they are under create shapes and splines. Uh, we are going to talk about these tools uh, now. I want to talk about the line command last because this command in here is uh, similar to editable, editable spline and th that's the most complex tool, uh, complex spline tool uh, in here. So I want to ease you in first, I want to warm you up. So I'm going to start with the rectangle tool. Uh, today we are going to talk about half of these and then uh, I'm going to talk about the rest of them. Uh, so let's start with the rectangle tool. I'm going to click once on this. Uh, I'm going to hit Alt W to minimize this one and uh, go to the top view and maximize that one. Uh, hit Alt W again for that. Okay. And I I'm going to just click and drag to create a rectangle and right click to get out of the command. As you can see, it was blue uh, or highlighted. Uh, different Max versions have different highlight uh, colors. So let's uh, say highlighted. And if you right click, it will uh, get out of the command. Okay. Now let's go to the modify tab and see what properties we have. Uh, we can play with in here. And as you can see, the first or the default ones are parameters. Uh, we can just change the length, width, and the corner radius of this rectangle. As you can see, we, uh, we can add some fillets uh, on the corners. And uh, we have two more uh, tabs in here. Let's uh, close this one and open the interpolation. Uh, what interpolation does is it gets rid of these, uh, it helps us get rid of these uh, mesh like segments in here okay if you increase this segment you can see that uh, they have a higher resolution let's say and uh, you can just click on adaptive to uh, make it adaptive to the uh, zoom level we have uh, i guess this is the best uh, one to click uh, instead of playing with the uh, steps in here and i'm going to just close this and open the rendering tab and in here, we, this is a uh, interpolation and rendering actually. These two tabs are common in all the shapes, so uh, they are very useful to know, I guess. If I uh, go to the perspective window, you can see that uh, if I enable in render and enable in viewport, I can add a thickness to this spline. Uh, we can see this uh, as a pipe uh, in the render as well, okay? And not only a radial uh, section, of course, we can add a rectangular section as well. We can play with these values, the length and width values, or the angle value. You can see that I can rotate that as well. And uh, the aspect is the aspect of these two numbers. And if I go back to radial, uh, I can just make this a little bit thicker, or I can increase the side segments or decrease them from here. And again, we have a value uh, for uh, angle. You can rotate this as well, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to right click here to uh, take it back to zero. Okay, these are uh, common shape uh, options, I guess. Let's delete that. I, I hit delete to do that and go to this circle command and see the properties of these, uh, this. Uh, if I draw a new circle, you can see that we have the pivot point and the center as we expected it to be. And we have uh, the rendering enabled uh, already. The reason is uh, if you, leave these t uh, or in the last shape you created if you have these ticked uh, a new shape will also have these let's just get rid of those and i can just zero these values okay all right now i can again ah sorry uh, let's get rid of these rendering tab and i can just again play with the radius uh, or as you can see the circle only has a radius value so uh, you can play with that okay can just delete this uh, by the way, you can add modify. Let's let's hit uh, Alt uh, Control Z to undo the uh, delete option, uh, delete command, and I can add a modifier on top of this. Let's say we add an extrude for, on top of this, and you can see that we have this cylinder created from that circle shape. Uh, the reason I haven't talked about line is we can create very complex shapes with line, and when you add extrude or other modifiers like lathe or sweep. You can create very complex shapes with those, but we will again ease up to those. Okay, let's try this ellipse tool. Uh, you can see that we have two options in here right now, uh, this time. Uh, one of them is length and the other one is width. So we can create an ellipse from these two 
properties. Uh, let's click on outline and see what this does. If you increase the thickness, it creates this outline in here. And let's add an extrude again and see what it does. As you can see, it creates the extrude extrusion only on the outlines. Like uh, it creates a thickness around the ellipse. Okay, let's delete this as well. Let's go to the arc option. And this will create an arc for us. Uh, you can just click and drag and release your mouse and this uh, then you can set the third point where an arc goes through and if you click on uh, click once more in the scene and go to the modifier tab you can see that we can play with the radius from and two points and if you click on the pie slice it will create this pie slice and if you click on reverse now what this reverse does is when you change this to an editable spline it's a little bit technical but uh, let me show that to you anyways uh, so that we don't have any questions in mind uh, if you add an edit spline on top of this this uh, will convert the arc to a line let's say uh, we can play with these points for example you will see that it's very useful we, we use this to create uh, very complex shapes in in a way it turns this line to a play doh like a thing okay you can play with this spline any with any way you want you can just move the point up and down you can change these uh, tangent uh, handles tangent handles for example or busy handles let's say and you can do anything you want you can convert this point to a corner for example okay and uh, let's talk about the reverse tool uh, or, or the option and if you go to here and um, uh, click on the ver show vertex numbers you can see that the first vertex in here is this one uh, it's, uh, it writes one in here and also uh, the point or the vertex is painted or shown in yellow color okay the reason for this is this uh, to inform us that this is the first vertex okay and if I go back to arc and reverse click on reverse uh, if it's not clicked just click it it was already clicked so I uh, unchecked it and go back to its spline and go uh, click hit one again you can see that the first vertex turned to this one uh, it's a little bit important when you are trying to like distribute objects on this spline for example it, it can be important then or uh, whenever you are trying to create a, a sweep shape this could come in handy but I just wanted to show this to you be, uh, so that you don't have any questions in mind this just reverses the spline of this arc okay let's delete this as well and let's uh, tr try out this uh, final shape donut uh, for this lesson of course and if i just click and drag and just uh, release my mouse and click again you can see that it creates this uh, donut shape or uh, a thick circle let's say uh, i guess you can play with these two uh, properties radius one and radius two and if you add an extrude modifier on top for example it again creates this wall like uh, shape li uh, just like in ellipse okay let's hit delete and get rid of this one as well okay these are uh, the editable sp uh, sorry spline shapes or basic shapes uh, we're gonna start with and by the way i want to give this uh, bit of information to you uh, you can add an edit spline on top of any of this let's create a donut for example and add an edit spline on top of this go to the vertex option and click or select any of these vertices and you can see that you can play with this shape as well okay uh, this looks like the uh, ship spaceship in the cosmos series i guess <laughs> or an avocado uh, section and let's delete this and try it on another one if i create a rectangle and edit, add an edit spline hit one uh, or the one key from the keyboard is the shortcut for vertex two is for segments and three is for splines we are going to use these a lot by the way but let's just hit one and select this one for uh, for now and you can see that we can play with this the position of this as well okay uh, or put the handles of this you can do anything or create any shape you want and there are a lot of tools in here to add vertices delete vertices or divide these segments or whatever you want you can uh, create a lot of interesting shapes with these and we are going to do a lot of exercises about this so don't worry but i uh, want you to experiment with this just try to add an spline add an extrude on top and try to create different shapes 
uh, again, we are going to create uh, a lot of shapes from these. So uh, just start playing with it, get comfortable with it. And uh, we are going to go on uh, these uh, tools in the next lesson. Thanks for listening. I hope this was useful. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button or uh, click on the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, thanks for listening. See you on the next lesson.